started, um, what is this? Morning. Yep, still morning. Um, yeah, so just working with my partner uh, remotely to put on some uh, options on crude oil futures. Uh, price is at a good area of, um, hmm, what's the term? I guess people know it as support. So yeah, you just got to quickly navigate through your platform, do some research, um, look at your numbers. You pretty much, when you have a trade plan, you already have an idea of what trades you typically take, what falls within your parameters. So you don't have to like think from scratch and um, it shouldn't take you too long to put on a trade when you see price coming into an area um, that you have your eye on to either buy or sell. So that's why a pre-planned trade plan is very important. Uh, you actually can't trade without one. Now you can modify it along the way. After taking so many trades, uh, then you have a good pool of data with which to draw a conclusion with what works, what doesn't work. Uh, but you want to, you know, consistently trade a certain way according to your trade plan for, you know, a month, 30 trades, people say typically 30 to 50 trades, log them, journal them, document them, and um, then you can see where you're at and how you're doing. And if you need to make adjustments to your trade plan, that's when you do it. So, yeah, let me go ahead and kind of calculate my risk in this trade. We always want to do that. Risk management, number one. Number one rule in trading. You don't want to lose your shirt or your slippers. Whatever you trade in. Uh, what's today? Today is the... What is today? Seriously. The 12th. Okay, so... By next Friday... Say price gets to whatever, whatever. Um willing to lose a certain amount price gets to there and I'm, I'm just looking to where I want to put my stop you want to have your entry your stop your target target one two three whatever or even multiple entries if you want to scale in uh, so everyone's you know strategy is a little different but as long as the numbers make sense and you have calculated risk um, Okay, that's it. We all hate to, we hate to be stopped out, especially when we feel like <laughs> it's gonna stop me out and then work, you little trickster. But that is that's just part of it. You just have to get over it. And it can take a while to get over it. It took a, a while for me to get over it, and it makes you kind of take on more risk. You want to put your stop further away. Some people just stop using stops altogether. But in order to run a business um, and have a you know, conservative model to last more than six months and not blow out your account, you have to cut your losses. And your losses have to be very small compared to your average gain and that's how you can lose several trades and still be profitable just a matter of probability okay all right so oh yeah it's not bad okay let's see if price got there at the end of this week that's cool part with options um gives you some wiggle room Oh, geez. Well, I don't want it to go there this week. That sucks. That'll make me lose a lot more. All right. Well, hypothetically. For what I'm willing to gain. I'm stingy. I don't like to give back much money. Okay. Um. Okay. Wait a minute. Ooh. Mmm. That is not cool. We are almost there. What are we doing? 
I have to confer with my partner. I have to confer with my partner. I'll keep you posted. It's a good trade though. Uh, we just have to agree on how much money we're willing to spend potentially on this trade. Gotta do it, gotta communicate. It's different when I go out and shop and I spend money and I don't tell my husband, yeah, he doesn't really like it. Yeah, okay, that's our thing. Maybe you guys don't run into that problem, but <laughs> I don't know, if I lose money on a trade, he doesn't care. He doesn't care, he just wants me to trade. Uh, so that's cool. Bye.